this was how they celebrated that time out. The Port Squad singing, if you can call it that, the praises of the team of 91. Well, last week, some of those same players and the fans were singing in the rain at Shamrock Park. Port Ryan just trying to settle themselves after going one goal down. Good cross by Major. And it's an equaliser. It's to give Port Ryan. Now she has to be on TV. I'd be very annoyed with you if she doesn't get on TV. Right? Keeper Keenan's best catch ever. Everyone clearly in good form. The town came to a standstill as the fans turned out in tribute. Many had simply travelled with the team from Seaview that afternoon to celebrate with Ronnie McFall and his players. It was party time as the Port Down punters got behind their side. Let us win the cup. <laughs> Well, there's always one. The open deck was surrounded by... Unless you came from mid-Ulster, as they did in their thousands. It was a day out for Portadown, a gala occasion for the fans as they celebrated their third league title success of the 90s. And a nice touch from Crusaders, who put their disappointment to one side and applauded the side who'd pipped them onto the pitch. Where injured skipper Brian Strain, he'd only slipped on his playing gear for the presentation, received the Gibson Cup. And the supporters, starved of success for so many years, were ready to acclaim manager Ronnie McFall's 14th trophy since he took over in 1986. They've turned out in force. Well, that's right, as we knew they would, and no doubt we'll get a tremendous reception tonight. Right. Well, during the league now, you, had, you ran away with it at the beginning, and then you had a few anxious moments after Christmas. Yeah, we have a lot of injury problems jacket right throughout the season, but as I said, the players knuckled down and I think we're deservedly champions. In the game itself, it was one each when, fittingly, the league's top marksman Gary Haylock hammered Portadown into the lead. A lethal strike, his 40th of the season, goalkeeper Kevin McKeown didn't move. Haylock's 41st goal made it 3-1, a defensive lapse letting him in, the lob made to measure. But Crusaders weren't to be beaten, and Trevor McMullen's little flick...